So we left off by creating a new cats table and it said query okay, but the question is how do we know that it worked? How do we know that it did what we wanted it to do? So there's a couple of options. The first command I'll show you is pretty straightforward, show tables. Very similar to show databases, uh, it just is going to show you the current tables in your database. So we can try that now in Cloud9. We'll do show tables, just like that. And it tells us tables in cat app, there's one called cats. So that's great, it tells us that there is a cats table, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't say anything about the contents of that table, what are the different columns in it. Which brings us to our next command, which is again using show, show columns from a table name. So in this case we would say show columns from cats. So let's try it out now. And as you can see, we get some nice little table back here that says we've got two fields, name and age. Name is a varchar with 100 limit and age is an integer. And don't worry about this 11 for now. Then we've got some other data that we're also not going to worry about because we're going to talk quite a bit about it in the next section. But there are some other categories here that we're just going to ignore. But this is what we want. Name, varchar, age, int. Perfect. One other thing I'll show you is that you can use a shorter version. Um, technically, these are slightly, slightly different commands, but used in this context, there is no difference. Um, so we can use describe or D-E-S-C, a table name. And that's my preference. It's shorter, easier to remember. So let's try that out. Describe cats. You can see we get the exact same printout. So I did say that you could use them differently uh, in a more advanced setting uh, where you can basically uh, pass in some other things to describe. So anyways, it doesn't really matter, but I just want you to know they're not exactly identical. It's not like one is a shortcut for the other, but they do the same thing in this context. All right, so this video was pretty quick. It was just about kind of testing and making sure that when you create a table, it's created accurately and that you can one, tell that the table is there using show tables, but more importantly, see the actual columns in that table using these two commands.